Hi, I'm Bob Coles, NoterZero.com. Thanks for tuning in to my channel again. Today I want to talk to you about optics and some uh, firearms. First off, quite a few years ago I started buying Leatherwood Hilux Optics. First one I ever purchased was the Unidial Scope. A lot of great features on the Unidial. I won't go into all that right now, but you can visit HiluxOptics.com and do some reading up on the Unidial Scope and the different features. The main thing I like about it is the Nomath Mill Dot Reticle. I find it very useful and super easy to use. And it also shares a common trait with the Leatherwood Art Scope, which is what I kind of want to talk about tonight. I happened to put one of those on my Honey Badger clone, which I have sitting right here. What we have is a Honey Badger. But this one's 5.56, not 300 blackout. Just want to do something a little different. And I did put the Leatherwood Art Scope on it, which I think looks pretty good. However, products improve, and the Art Scope is no exception. This is the 2 to 10 by 42 M1000 Pro. Some of the great features on this are 30 millimeter main tube. It zeroes at 200 yards and it'll still cam out to 1,000 yards. On this side, it has an illuminated reticle with three clicks for night vision and two clicks for general illumination. You can get it in either red or green illumination. I generally pick green because I just like the way it works. I like the way it looks on the target and this works out good for me. The uh, Clicks are one quarter MOA, windage, and elevation. Now once you have them all set, you can re-index both knobs to zero, and the elevation does not have a zero stop. You have to remember on a scope that's built like this, you don't need a zero stop. You're gonna put your caps on and you're not gonna touch the knobs again. The camming system will take care of your elevation. You'll cam from 200 yards to 1,000 yards. You don't have to worry about that dope. If you want to go to manual mode, we all know what that is, where you dial into your elevation, your yardage, and you're going to lock down the screw, disengage magnification, and increase magnification to whatever you want. If you want to go back to auto ranging, you're going to dial us back, line up the pins, push them in, you're going to loosen the lock screw, and you're going to cam, aim, frame, and shoot. It's that easy one shot hits. You can't get any easier than that. So go down to Hilux.com, check out the Art Scope M1000 Pro, get some stats on it, and get one in the mail so you can get one on your rifle and you can start doing one shot hits.